in the mountains of West Virginia. Finding Dahlheim. <laughs> We're going to be searching all throughout the vast wilderness looking for the rare Andrew Dahlheim. <laughs> Let's go see if we can find him. Hello. Now on Finding Dahlheim, we are going to be looking for some rare spectacles. Oh, golly. This is the biggest Dahlheim dropping I've ever seen. Let's take a closer look. If you look there, you can see where he ate sausage. If you look there, you can see where he ate babies. Let's go look for more evidence. I was following these Dahlheim tracks, which led me to Caden's farm. Caden, tell the people your story. A Dahlheim broke into my farm and he killed all my cows. You hear that, folks? Dahlheim is indeed dangerous. Let's go look for more evidence. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. Our sources have told us that Dahlheim is running in this race. Wait, there he is right now. Oh my gosh, that's him! Let's go right there him. in the blue! Let's go get him! Oh my gosh, he's passing someone. There he is in front of him. It's a miracle. This is the first photograph since the 1940s. Hello, welcome to another segment on finding Dahlheim. Today, we will be interviewing a lumberjack who was attacked viciously by the Dahlheim. Share your story, sir. Well, I was out here, <laughs> cutting me some timber here, and then all I, all I hear this rustling in the leaves. So then I look up, and I see this big old hairy son of gun, and, and I think, whoa, man, that's a, Sas that's a Sasquatch, but I was completely wrong. No, it was the Dahlheim. That Dahlheim, it came out of the tree, it jumped on me, it clobbered my head, and that's all I remember. I was out for good. Thank you for your time. Yep. I'll keep your number in case we need you for another segment of Finding Dahlheim. Yep. Now, as we end our day, the mystery still remains. Is Dahlheim a legend? Or is he real? <laughs> oh!